Hey there, I'm Colin from Barn2, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the WooCommerce Default Quantity plugin. WooCommerce Default Quantity lets you change the default quantity for your products to subtly encourage your customers to purchase more. By encouraging larger orders, you can boost your store's bottom line, but at the same time, you're not taking away your customer's ability to choose because they still have the option to enter their own quantity. You can set your default quantity globally for all products, for specific categories of products, or for individual products. And you're also able to enter any default quantity, even zero if that fits your needs. Keep watching and I'll show you exactly how to use this plugin. Once you install and activate the WooCommerce default quantity plugin, you can access the global settings by opening the settings menu under the WooCommerce tab in your WordPress dashboard. Then, click on the Products tab and select Default Quantity. This is the default quantity that will apply to every single product at your store. If needed, you can then manually override this default quantity for specific categories of products or individual products. To apply a default quantity to an entire category of products, go to the Category Settings under the Products tab in your WordPress dashboard. Then, click to edit the category that you want to add a default quantity to. At the bottom of the category settings, you'll see a new default quantity box, where you can enter your desired quantity. Any quantity that you enter here will override the global default quantity, but only for products in this specific category. Finally, you can also set a default quantity for individual products. To do so, edit the individual product that you want to add a default quantity to, then, go to the Inventory tab in the regular WooCommerce product data box. There, you'll see a new default quantity box where you can enter the default quantity for just that product. And that's it! You just learned how to add a default quantity to some or all of your WooCommerce products. Remember, you can set the default quantity at three levels. Globally for all of your products, for specific categories of products, or for individual products. If multiple quantities apply, the plugin will use the most specific setting. For example, setting a category default quantity will override the global default quantity, and similarly, setting an individual product default quantity will override both the category and global quantities. Finally, the WooCommerce default quantity plugin is fully compatible with Barn 2's other plugins, like WooCommerce Product Table and WooCommerce QuickView Pro. You can learn more about these plugins at the Barn2 website. Click the link in the description to get started with the WooCommerce Default Quantity plugin today and start subtly encouraging your store shoppers to make larger orders. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment or a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great videos on how to get the most from WooCommerce.